Okay, looking at the amplifier after it's been powered up for about a half hour and that 5 volt regulator is around 208 degrees and this is with the standard heat sink which is just an aluminum standoff. Okay, so I'm going to pull this board out. Because these ribbon cables are soldered on both sides you have to pull this board out also. And for the quarter inch input jacks, I made this, um, or modified this socket. It's an 11 millimeter, 7 16 would probably work too, but I, I ground down the front so it's flush um, because these nuts don't stick out very far. The normal taper on these sockets would sometimes make it slip off, so this grabs a little better. And you don't even really need the wrench. You might not even want it because it's easy to over tighten these plastic ones and strip out the threads. Pull this board out and this one. And there's one more ribbon cable here that goes to the front input jack. Use that same socket on the front. So my plan is to remove this aluminum standoff and replace it with a heat sink. And I've got this strip of aluminum which I'll planning to cut up, make it fit, maybe bolt onto the top of this and then wrap around the top to try to get some more surface area. Another option would be to try to go underneath and then wrap around. Okay, so I got the hole drilled. Plan is to fit this under here, bend it up here so it goes vertical, and see what I should do with the rest of this. I've got it mounted in this vise now, machinist vise. The edges are a lot uh, flatter, so pinching it in there shouldn't hurt it. And I want to bend it this way, just kind of make a somewhat rounded bend. So I don't hopefully break the aluminum. So I don't want the heat sink to bend over the component. So I'm going to want to bend it around this way. Rather than cut off the extra, you might as well use it for extra heat sinking as long as the as long as it doesn't get in the way or create any other issues. Mm -hmm. 